Go out there, Redeemer Sunday School. Welcome to Kids Time on Friday. This is Bryson. This is Luke. And I'm Connie. And we're going to uh, <laughs> hope you enjoy our Kids Time message today. At our house, we have this saying <laughs> that we say, what God noise? is good, good all the time, time and all the time, time God is good. good. And I'm sure you've heard that on those God Not Dead videos, um, wonderful videos if you haven't seen them. And it made it me think about um, sometimes we forget that God is good all the time and all the time God is good, especially when bad things happen, when things happen that um, we weren't expecting or things didn't go our way. We forget that God is good. Um, and you know, when God, when, when things are going good, it's easy for us to carry God in our heart and, and talk about God and pray to God. But when those bad things start to happen, we start to forget that God is good, even in those bad times. So what we've done today, um, and this is take number three. So we decided to go ahead and leave, get the balloons blown up. Bryson and Luke have balloons <laughs> and hopefully they're pretty close. Okay. That's enough to the same size. And these balloons represent God in your heart. Okay, so these balloons are kind of like your heart and they're blown up because God is in your heart. So we're going to pretend with Bryce and Luke for a minute. So they're going about life and all of a sudden they have this, they find themselves in a situation where they've got to score good on this test to get a good grade in this class so that they can be on the honor roll. And it's really important to both of them to be on the honor, to be on the honor roll. So they study and they study and they study for this test and they take it and they don't do well on the test. So they don't get a good grade in the class and so they're not on the honor roll. Now both boys are sad, but Bryson starts, he, he's sad, but he thinks, okay, God is good all the time and all the time God is good. So he keeps God in his heart. Luke on the other hand is really sad about this and he thinks, okay, I, I, what what happened, God? Why didn't you let me make good on this do good on this test? Why weren't you there? I just wanted this. I worked so hard, and so he starts to lose a little bit of God in his heart. Okay, so you see his balloon got smaller. He forgot that God is good all the time, and all the time God is good, and he he's very sad about this, and he forgets that. You know, he still needs to pray to God. He still needs to read his Bible. So then they're going about their life. And then about, about another month went by. And all of a sudden they find out that their best friend or a lot of their close friends are making fun of them. They're, they're kind of joking and making fun of them behind their back. And that really hurts when people make fun of you behind your back. That really hurts your heart. So they're both really just very upset about that. And, and Bryson, though, he thinks, okay, I, I still know God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. Maybe these folks weren't the friends I thought they were. That just means that there are other friends out there better. Luke, on the other hand, is just beside himself. He is just so sad and depressed because his friends were did him wrong. They they were they they made fun of him behind his back, and he just can't get past that. And now he feels like he has no friends at all. And he forgets about God in his heart and that God is good all the time and all the time God is good. So he loses some more of God in his heart. And you can see that God in his heart is getting less and less. Okay, so Luke's more sad now than, 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 than he's filled with God and, and knowing that God's going to take care of things. God has a plan. So he's more sad. You see that his heart is definitely smaller than Bryson's. So here again, we go about it, and they go about another month, and Corona hits, COVID nineteen hits, and and one of their parents can't work. Okay, and so that means there's not as much money, and so they can't do all these extra. We're gonna pretend they're still doing sporting things. They can't do all these extra sporting things. They can't go to these camps that they thought they had hoped they might still be able to go to this summer. They can no longer do. The one thing that brought them happiness. They can no longer do their sporting or their acting um, camps that they wanted to. And here again, Bryson's devastated. He really wanted to go to that wrestling camp this summer. And now he can't. But he thinks, here again, God is good all the time and all the time God is good. God's got this, he thinks. And I, I know I'm just going to pray more about it. God's got a better plan. He's, he's still here with me. Luke, on the other hand, 
He can't go to his sports camp. He can't go to his acting camp. He can't go to Lutheridge. And he forgets. He thinks, okay, God has just totally let me down. And, and, and he just, he forgets God is there. He's just so sad. Now he's angry about everything that's happened. And he's forgotten about God. And that's kind of how it happens for folks, boys and girls. You hear about folks who, who knew God, loved God, believed God, loved them, and bad things happen. Like they lose someone that they love and they don't understand. Um, and, and they turn from God. They forget that, that God is still there even in those bad things. Okay. Because what's missing from Bryson's balloon and Luke's balloon, what's missing out of Bry what's missing from Bry Luke's heart that's in Bryson's heart is God. Even in those bad things, God, Bryson carried God in his heart. Luke forgot. He got too sad. He got too angry. He got too disappointed. And he, and he just felt like God turned his back on him. Okay. And the only way Luke is going to feel better, if this is their hearts, the only way his heart is going to be better is to begin to fill it with God. And you do that by, and he does that by praying for God, reading his Bible, going to church, or at least watching church online, or these uh, kid time videos. And the more he starts to talk to God, the more he starts to learn about God, the more he starts to remember that God is good all the time and all the time God is good and his heart gets filled back with God. Okay. And he can, and now he can be happy again. He can know that God is in control and God's got this. And even in those bad times, God is with us and there is something good going to come out of it. So now he believes and can understand that God is good all the time and all the time God is good. So, boys and girls, I hope this helps you remember that, that in life, don't forget, bad things, as we go through life, good things and bad things are going to happen to us. That doesn't mean we need to lose God in our heart. God needs to stay there because that's the only way we can truly get through those bad times is to remember that God is there and he is helping us. And we need to remember to pray, read in our Bible, go to church, and just talk to God. And that, and, and to remember that, ready boys? That God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. And if you remember that, boys and girls, your heart too will be happy and filled all the time. Not that you ever want, you won't ever be sad or you won't ever be disappointed. And things won't ever hurt. Your heart will hurt. But the way you, you, you come back from those things, the way that you actually get to feeling better about those things is to remember God has a plan and God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Hope you enjoyed um, Redeemer Sunday School. Take care. Bye. Bye.